fact on that. Now we're going to China, where Hui Muslim women are free to act as imams, as well as men. It's an ancient tradition that's been called a quietly liberal model of inclusion and a vision of Islam that rejects extremism and patriarchy. Let's take a look at this report by Baptiste Falavoz and Shannon Van Sant. It's 1 p.m. in Jinjai. Villagers rush to the mosque for Friday's prayer. With their traditional white hats, a hundred men from the Sunni Hui minority listen to the imam's sermon. According to Muslim traditions, women are usually allowed to come, but have to stay separated from the men by at least a curtain. In Jinjai, people see things differently. 100 meters away, a female voice echoes in another building. It's Li Aihua's voice, a female imam. Studying religion should be done from the cradle to the grave. Playing for money in mahjong, poker, and gambling is forbidden in Islam. Even though you do it in secret, it's still forbidden. A mosque for women only. It's already unusual. But in a mom who is a woman, it only exists in China's Hui community. Hundreds of cities are following this Hui tradition, which is welcomed especially by women. We can see each other and study together every day. Our female imam has the religious knowledge and the legitimacy to lead us. And the women's mosque is the right place to do that. Female imams first appeared 300 years ago in China when Islam was losing worshippers here. This tradition was then maintained by the Communist Party and its gender equality policies. Today, the Hui women are not only confined to leading prayers. When they have problems, the women can talk to me and I do my best to help them. Some women find they can't easily tell male imams about quarrels between husband and wife. They give advice and pay visits. Li Aihua sees a man who was very ill before attending a dinner commemorating another villager who recently died. Today, the male imam is leading the prayer, and Li Aihua remains silent, but she appears to be indispensable to the deceased family. Male or female, whichever imam comes to my house to recite the Quran shows the biggest respect to the dead. After nightfall and the last prayer of the day, Mrs. Lee transforms into a teacher. Every night, 20 people come here to study the Quran and Arabic, and even Chinese in a village where many have little formal education. In the audience, there are even a few men. Male imam or female imam, it doesn't matter. They have more knowledge than us. Anyone who is capable can be our teacher, so we should study and follow them. I also teach them to respect their parents and to live harmoniously with their neighbors, be patriotic and faithful to their religion. They have to obey the national laws and religious commands. These cautious and controlled speeches guarantee a certain amount of freedom to the Hui minority. Its 10 million members are seen as a model of integration in Chinese society far from the tensions between the Communist Party and Uyghurs in Xinjiang province.